A central challenge for any organization is how to align the objectives of leaders and subordinates. This takes a particular form when it comes to mission-oriented organizations that pursue objectives beyond maximizing profits. Rather than relying on financial incentives, these groups tend to attract workers whose values are aligned with those of their employer. But while mission can be a powerful intrinsic motivator, it can also lead to frictions when the preferences of leaders and subordinates become misaligned. This is especially relevant for bureaucracies. Political turnover at the top can lead to sudden, sharp changes in mission that leave many subordinates in disagreement with their new leader's priorities. Does this affect the bureaucracy's ability to do its job? To what extent does ideological misalignment affect performance? This paper studies these questions in the U.S. federal bureaucracy. As the executive arm of the federal government, the bureaucracy's mission is tightly linked to the White House's policy agenda. Yet most bureaucrats are career civil servants who are in principle protected from political interference and who may have preferences that conflict with those of the president. At any given moment, politicians may need to rely on a multitude of bureaucrats whose values are not aligned with the present mission. To trace the implications of this misalignment, the authors link personnel records for the near universe of federal employees between 1997 and 2019 with administrative data on all registered voters in the U.S. This allows them to measure political alignment for almost 2 million individuals throughout the federal bureaucracy, and they distinguish between two types of personnel. Political appointees are appointed by the president or by a department head, can be removed at any time, and are only a small minority of federal employees. Civil servants, on the other hand, constitute the majority of the bureaucracy, occupy positions that are non-political in nature, and for the most part are hired through a competitive selection process. These differences lead to starkly different patterns in both groups' ideological alignment with the party in power. This figure shows the partisan affiliation of political appointees across several presidential administrations. There are clear partisan cycles and high levels of turnover. Under a Democratic president, Political appointees are 49 percentage points more likely to be a Democrat than under a Republican president, and the same dynamic applies for Republican appointees under a Republican president. This is consistent with the idea that presidents use their limited power over hiring and firing to achieve greater ideological alignment among high-ranking bureaucrats. In contrast, there are virtually no political cycles in the career civil service. Here, the share of Democrats has remained nearly constant, the share of Republicans has declined slightly, and neither trend is affected by the party of the sitting president. There is also no evidence that political alignment has any effect on civil servants' career progression, as measured by changes in earnings or transfers away from D.C. These patterns suggest that the core of the U.S. federal government is largely protected from political interference, but this also means that at any given moment, a significant number of rank-and-file bureaucrats are ideologically misaligned with their political superiors. How does this affect their performance? To answer this, consider one particular subset of bureaucrats, procurement officers. Procurement officers purchase goods and services on behalf of the government, and they operate across nearly all departments of the federal bureaucracy. Each is responsible for overseeing the execution of their particular contracts, and standard measures of performance are cost overruns and delays. So to estimate the effect of ideological misalignment, the authors link their personnel and voter registration data to federal procurement data, and track how an officer's performance varies across years in which they are and are not aligned with their political superiors and they find that misalignment is associated with lower performance. These figures show how contract performance changes 
as officers move through a presidential transition that shifts them from misalignment to alignment with their political superiors. Procurement contracts overseen by aligned officers have lower cost overruns and fewer delays. These effects are concentrated in high-value contracts, which tend to be more complex and for which an individual officer's effort is likely to be more important, and in terms of magnitude, misalignment increases cost overruns by approximately 1% of the initial contract value. Importantly, these effects hold for both the Bush-Obama and the Obama-Trump transitions. Democrats and Republicans exhibit better performance under an aligned president, which suggests these findings reflect a general phenomenon rather than a party or president-specific effect. What explains these dynamics? There is no evidence that the lower performance of misaligned officers is due to differences in contract assignment or career incentives, but there is suggestive evidence of a morale effect. Misaligned civil servants appear less motivated to exert effort. These figures use data from a large repeated survey of U.S. federal bureaucrats and show that respondents are more likely to report higher morale and closer identification with their department's mission when they are politically aligned with the party of the president. And so, this paper provides evidence on the effects of ideological misalignment in a textbook bureaucracy. Zooming out, these findings may have implications beyond the public sector, especially as more and more organizations embrace a mission-driven focus. To read more on this topic, you can check out the paper's references to other related work. This includes research on the internal organization of bureaucracies, partisanship in the U.S. bureaucracy, and the role of incentives and mission in public organizations.